Hi guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. So today we will be trying to encrypt this volume. So what happens is uh, there could be a requirement wherein all the volumes should be encrypted. So as you can check, I have a demo instance up and running, and this is the root volume itself, and which is not encrypted. So how we can encrypt this volume? We will find in this video. Okay, let's. Uh, open this volume in a new tab select the volume actions we we'll create a snapshot of this volume first so test snap show let's create a name that's it and we'll create a snapshot so we have created a snapshot let's open the snapshot in a new tab as well so here is a snapshot that we created so it is in process and i will just unpause in time okay so as you can check the snapshot is now available we will check the snapshot actions and copy snapshot so when we copy this snapshot it gives an option to encrypt this snapshot we'll encrypt it so any keys so default aws ebs kms keys are there and simply hit copy snapshot so we'll get a snapshot which is encrypted right now as you can check it is encrypted and it will also take around two minutes so i'll just unpause in time okay so as you can check we have the copied snapshot as well copied snapshot took around two to two, two to three minutes so let's select the copied snapshot and create volume from the snapshot so when you create a volume you need to keep two things in mind that the server availability zone also the device name you copy the device name and the server availability zone so let's take gp3 this time and it is in 1b and that's it let's create volume okay our volume is created now let's check in volume so we had a tab already of memories so here is the volume which is encrypted and also in available state I think we missed the device name. Uh, let's check once again. So here it is not giving an option. Okay. When we attach it, it will show us. No problem. So as you can check, now this is the old volume which was not encrypted and we have a new volume with us. So let's first detach the old volume. So for that we need to stop the instance first. Okay, so we'll wait for instance to stop. Okay, so server is stopped right now. Go to volumes and this is the old volume which is not encrypted. Again actions and detach volume. That's it. We'll wait for volume to get detached. Okay, both is available. So this is the encrypted new volume which we created. Select it, actions, attach volume. Okay, so when we attach, it give us the instance name. So here the device name we need to paste, which we copied earlier because the device name shouldn't shouldn't change. Okay, let's attach. And as you can check, the in use volume is the volume which is encrypted right now. Okay, let's go to the instance and when you if we hit refresh and this is the new volume and it is encrypted. So now let's check whether the instance starts and we'll wait for status check to pass. Okay, so our server is also up and as you can check the volume is also encrypted now. So I have done this for root volume. Similarly, you can also do it for all the file system out there and uh, this is how you can achieve encrypted volume when it is not encrypted 
so thanks for watching my video and also you can find the same thing i followed this blog which is on the internet so i'll attach this link also in the description so that's been my 30 bucks thank you for watching my video that's thank you